What's up, UULP? Uh, I'm here on Hollywood at Universal Studios Florida because the store at the exit of what used to be Terminator 2 3D, Battle Across Time, uh, and still the exit of the horror makeup show, uh, recently got a makeover. Uh, used to have, you know, Doctor Who, DC Comics, Star Wars stuff in there, Walking Dead. Uh, that is not the case anymore. They really redid this thing. And uh, I mean, you may have heard that they rethemed it to like, you know, put more monsters, classic monster stuff in there. And that's true. But the, uh, the level of the retheming today specifically has really jumped way up. So I'm gonna give you a look around in there. It's really reminiscent to me of the, uh, the tribute store that was at Horror Nights 25 in the shop that used to be the exit of Twister. Um, right before they closed Twister. So I'm gonna show you around in here and let's, it's crazy. Uh, big thing, big, this is like big deal for Horror Nights fans especially, but I wonder if this gives us a clue to what's replacing Terminator, just right down there. Right down there, like it, it would be strange to walk out of a show that isn't themed to monsters and walk into the store, but let's see what I'm talking about first. Of course, this is it from the outside, really unsuspecting, barely any signs up for anything. Oh look, right there. Monsters, sci-fi, collectibles, comics. I don't know about that anymore. I mean, monsters for sure. So let's get in here. Thanks, man. Thank you. Have a good one. Here's the creature from the Black Lagoon. Look, this carriage was literally at Horror Nights 25's tribute store. Like, it was like the centerpiece of that store. Um, I believe that's the caretaker's uh, horse-drawn carriage. If it's not, please correct me if I'm wrong. But, you know, that wasn't in here before. We got a bunch of display stuff. This whole store is totally re-themed, redecorated to be a like monster museum. And then look at this old piano over here. I'm wondering if this is going to be like the uh, tribute to Terminator that remains here forever, you know? Because you know how they love to have Easter eggs. So I wonder if this will stay here. I kind of hope it does. Because it's a nice tribute to... Oh, Marvel stuff isn't here. Nice tribute to... Um... Oh, look at that. That's from Ghostbusters too. That's fun. Um... Anyway, yeah, if they leave that over there, that'll be a nice tribute. Here's Slimer. Nice tribute. <laughs> I can't ever finish this sentence. I'll just give up now. Uh, look, okay, so this is the old exit to Terminator, and they have these, like, weird alien capsules here. Imagine if this is, like, Jason Bourne or uh, Pitch Perfect or, I don't know, any other Universal movie that could potentially have a live show. There's so many things that could be. But walking out of a, any show that isn't about monsters into this store would just seem strange to me. Um, I wonder if this is a temporary retheme. It seems really ex extensive for a, just a temporary uh, facelift to me, you know? Although they do it for Horror Nights tribute stores, so I guess it's not totally unheard of. But this is really fascinating to me. So yeah, that's what's going on in here. Interesting stuff. Um, and just an update for everybody here, you may not know, I'm, my name is Kenneth. I do the vlogs for the UUOP YouTube channel. Uh, I've been very sparse with doing those lately, but I'm gonna try to start doing them like once a month. You may have seen I've done a tour of Production Central where I go over everything that's in each, uh, in that land, all the rides, all the restaurants, kind of little Easter eggs about everything. And I wanna do one of those for every every area of both parks um, and maybe even one for Volcano Bay, who knows. But yeah, I'm gonna try to have my face on here a little bit more often. So that's, uh, that's the plan. And of course, new ride reviews and everything. I, I did one for Fast and Furious. And those will always be top priority, like emergency status, get those done. So anyway, that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you that update of the store because that's crazy uh, that they just did that and like with no announcement or, or anything. It's just like, oh, here's this monster store. It's weird. So, but I like it. It's great and uh, it's exciting for, you know, 
people who are fans of HHN, it maybe gives a little glimmer of hope of something kind of being in there in one of the parks all year. You got a little, a, a little taste, more of a little taste, because, you know, I feel like the horror makeup show is always that. But uh, now we got even more. So I think that's cool. That's gonna do it for me this time. I'll see you guys later. Have fun.